Hello class, this is Mr. Lehman talking to you today about lesson three of the smells unit. The title is Honk If You Like Molecules, pretty catchy name. Uh, so lesson three deals with how we can correctly draw the structural formulas. And it came up with a pretty catchy name, H-O-N-C, Honk, one, two, three, four. This is called the Honk, one, two, three, four rule, which tells us that in order to get a full outer shell, hydrogen needs to form one bond. Oxygen, to get a full outer shell, full valent shell, needs to form two bonds. Nitrogen needs to form three covalent bonds with other atoms. And carbon, in order to get a full valent shell, needs to form a uh, maximum of four bonds, four covalent bonds. And the chemistry behind why that is, hydrogen has one outer electron. It only has one electron. To fill up its first and only shell, its outer shell, it needs a total of two. So in order to get a second electron, it has to share its one electron with another atom, and that atom in, re in return will share its electron back. And so hydrogen shares one in order for one to be shared back. So it needs to form one bond only. Oxygen has six outer electrons. It needs eight. So it has to share two of its electrons with other atoms so that they will share their electrons back. And so oxygen needs to form two bonds. Nitrogen has five outer electrons. So it needs to share three of its valence electrons in order for atoms to share three of their valence electrons back. So it needs three bonds. Carbon has four valence electrons. Therefore, it needs to form four bonds so that it needs to share its four so other atoms share their four valence electrons back. So every atom wants to get a full outer shell. Oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen need eight. Hydrogen only needs two. All right, so that's the basic principles behind this getting into some drawings, which this is mostly what the honk one, two, three, four lesson is all about. If I ask you to draw, let's say, C3, H8, O1, uh, the way you want to start, this uh, start out connecting all the carbons together. The carbon forms the backbone of the molecule. Just like your backbone forms the center of your body, carbons, because they can bond with four different things, they're always found in the center. Uh, oxygen, we can attach oxygen anywhere we want for this point because we don't know the name. We don't know specifically where the oxygen is going to go. So maybe I just want to put the oxygen right here. Each carbon wants to have a total of four bonds. So I can go ahead and draw the lines here. So every carbon has four lines coming off of it. Uh, oxygen needs two bonds according to the Honk 1, 2, 3, 4 rule. And so now I use hydrogen to fill in so there's one, two, three hydrogens, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is correct. It meets the rules of the honk one, two, three, four. If I wanted to make an isomer of this, that means that it would still have the same formula, but the atoms would rearrange in different ways. Uh, probably the easiest thing to do is just to put the oxygen in a different location. If I want to make an isomer, this, is a, this oxygen is attached to the end carbon. Boom. So let me just move that. Switch these around. Hydrogen is now over here. Put oxygen over here. This is an isomer because look, the oxygen is now attached to the middle carbon instead of the end. It's totally different. I want to do something crazy here. We could put the oxygen in between two carbons and have a big old oxygen sandwich here. Yeah. And this would be an isomer. This is a third substance, a third chemical that has the same formula. All right, so uh, let's do a couple more here. I'm going to end this lesson. If you want some more practice, go ahead and click on part two. Hope this helped.